Hey beauties and welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing my current favorites with you guys. So everything that I have been loving over these past couple of months, um, especially since I haven't done many videos since I just had Colton a few weeks ago. Um, so I have a lot to show you guys that I have been obsessed with for the past couple of months. So my first favorite is the new CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Natural Glow Foundation. I am in the shade Creamy Natural. And you guys, this foundation is completely gone. I used every little smidgen of it up in just a few weeks. I was absolutely in love with this product. Uh, it gave me a really nice glow. It does have medium to full coverage, but it's not like super cakey or heavy. This was actually the foundation that I was wearing when I gave birth. I took this to the hospital with me and I really liked it because um, it gave me that natural, radiant, glowy look without being heavy. You don't, you don't have anything heavy that you're sweating off when you're in the delivery room. Trust me. Um, so I have just been absolutely in love with this. This is definitely going to be a repurchase for me. Uh, next favorite is also new. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Corrector. Uh, what shade am I? I'm in ivory and I actually heard about this concealer on Sam Sherman's channel uh, and I decided to pick it up because she just absolutely raved about it and I'm glad I did because I also completely adore this concealer. Uh, it's just a little wand concealer which I like because you know obviously very easy to apply particularly on the go. I need something that's going to be really quick for touch-ups and just get rid of my dark circles because Obviously, I have not been sleeping. Uh, you guys know I'm concealer crazy. This one definitely gets my seal of approval. And it's a drugstore concealer, so you can't beat that. Highly recommend picking this up. Next favorite is also new at the drugstore. This is from Maybelline New York. This is their Brow Satin Smoothing Duo Brow Pencil and Filling Powder. So it's a little dual-ended product. One side you have your brow pencil, and then the other side you have your sponge. Which I'm really liking. The pencil goes on really nicely. It's creamy. It gives you good coverage in your brow without ending up like er, er, all over the place because I have a couple other brow pencils where it's nice and creamy but it tends to end up like up here, down here. You don't want eyebrow by your lip by the end of the day. This one has great coverage while also staying put. Um, I'm not sure what the shade is anymore because for some reason the color is not on the packaging but I pretty much always go for like a dark blonde or light brown. So that is the Maybelline Brow Satin. Really, really like this. Again, another drugstore favorite. Then I have a higher end lip product that I have been loving. This is from YSL. And I did receive two of their Rouge Purgatoire lipsticks from Influencer, which I've talked about here on my channel before. And so I qualified for the YSL box and they sent me two of these newer lipsticks and they are to die for creamy and pigmented. So beautiful. I'm actually wearing one today. This is 09. It's a gorgeous rose color. Um, okay, and then another lippy favorite. This one is from Urban Decay. This is their lipstick in matte black male uh, from their matte lipstick collection. And this color is a little bit intimidating. Um, I did wear it on Halloween, but I've also worn it out before. I just blot it way, way down. I'll show you guys what it looks like. In the tube, it looks black. Um, you can see on my hand that it's more of like a dark um, red toned plum, almost like a currant color. Uh, really, really beautiful for winter. All I do is I apply it to my lips and then I blot it way down with a tissue. Um, and then it just kind of leaves behind like this berry stain, which is really, really beautiful. Uh, and it definitely lasts all throughout the day because it does kind of stain your lips. Um, and since it's a matte color, you could kind of play it up with some gloss. Uh, just really, really beautiful. So that is Urban Decay's Matte Lipstick in Blackmail. My next favorite is literally the cutest things that you have ever seen. And I did not know that these existed until I found them on Instagram. And I'm completely obsessed. And they are called Poppy Clips. And if you follow me on Instagram, you might have already seen my post showing these. Uh, but, oh my god, they're so cute. I'm so in love. Basically what they are is magnetic boot clips. Look at these. They are so adorable. I have them in quite a few different colors, so I just wanted to show you guys kind of like how they work and the different styles that I picked up. They clip right onto the back of your boots, obviously using magnets, and they add these cute little bows and details. 
Um, so let me show you guys. I actually have a pair on my rain boots. These are just my plaid rain boots that I got at Tractor Supply. <laughs> Nothing fancy, but I've dressed them up so much with my poppy clips. These are the navy blue ones. You can see they have the herringbone print and then a really cute little navy blue bow. And you guys, how stinking cute are these? These take rain boots and riding boots to another level. And I basically live in rain boots and riding boots for the entire fall and winter, so perfect. But this is actually the magnet right here. But when you fold it over the back of your boot, they just snap together. And it's a really strong magnet, very strong. So you don't have to worry about it like flopping off your boot in the middle of Target or something, no worries. I've worn these out multiple times, so you just clip them right on your boot and you go, and they're so cute come in a ton of colors, really great quality. Um, so these are the polka dot with fuchsia bows. Um, and then I also have them in the black and white polka dot with black bow. And then my last pair are the houndstooth pair. And I actually have these on my herringbone riding boots from Target. And you can see that they have a cute little houndstooth black and white pattern with a red bow. The poppy clips can clip onto any pair of boots. So just a really fun little chic accessory to add to your boot collection. I have been obsessed with those. I get compliments on them pretty much everywhere I go. Somebody's always asking me where they're from. Next fave is from Burt's Bees. This is their Naturally Nourishing Milk and Honey Body Lotion. And I actually need some right now because, girl, I am dried out up in here. Um, and this stuff, oh, it's so nice. This has coconut and grapeseed oil in it. And so it makes your hands feel like buttery soft with, without any greasiness. Oh, and it has like a, almost like a minty smell, which I actually like. I'm a fan of mint. Hey, it's perfect for winter because it kind of smells like a candy cane. Um, so anyways, absolutely love this stuff non-greasy so if you're looking for a good moisturizer for the winter time especially for your hands because you know you're washing them a lot there's like the flu going around blah um highly recommend that i love burt's bees products um then little colty has a favorite he's actually over at grandma's right now my mom gave me a little break so that i could film so i was like super grateful so he's not here um but I have to tell you guys about these fabulous bottles. Um, so Colton has really bad reflux and he's been kind of picky about what he eats, the kind of bottle that he drinks out of, um, or he gets like refluxy and very fussy. So we have been using exclusively these Newbie Natural Touch Infant Bottles and, and you can get these at Target. And the reason that they're called the Newbie Natural Touch is because the nipple is actually very similar to the shape of a breast. Um, so you're not going to have like nipple confusion and the baby's going to be able to transition easily from the breast to a bottle, which I absolutely love. Um, he just absolutely loves these bottles. Like he won't take anything else. So highly recommend checking these out at Target and plus they're just so cute. Absolutely love them. Newbie products are great. Uh, my next couple of favorites are from Peony Knits and this is a Etsy shop that my friend Josie owns and she knits the most amazing pieces ever like these are the softest most amazing knit hats i've ever had so she sent me this gorgeous knit hat and then also matching little fingerless gloves i love these so much look how cute they are oh my god and then a giant cow neck scarf look at it and I wish that you guys could feel, like we need feel-a-vision because these are so incredibly soft and well-made. So I cannot wait for it to get chilly outside because I'm going to be bundled up. So be sure to look out for a picture of me wearing all of these things on Instagram because I will post. So in addition to Peony Knits where she sells adult knit products, she also has a shop called Peony Blossoms where she sells knit baby hats and things like that. And they're so adorable. And she actually knit three little new newborn hats for Colton. Uh, he wore these in his photo shoot that he had and it turned out so amazing. So look at the little, I call this like a little wizard hat, but it's like a little nighttime sleepy elfy hat. Look, it has a little tassel, so cute. And then she also knit a little Santa hat because we did like a Christmas themed picture. Um, and then also just this cute little pom pom hat. And these just fit his head amazing. They're so warm, so soft. Oh, be sure to check out Josie's sites, Peony Knits and Peony Blossoms. I'll go ahead and link her Etsy shops for those down below as well. My next favorite, this product is so cool, you guys. I also discovered this company through Instagram. Uh, and the company is Lalaboo. And this is their 
Wear Soothe shirt. So this is a stylish top, cozy pouch, and nursing bra all in one. This is what the Soothe shirt looks like, and you can see that I got mine in black. I got mine in size small, and it fits perfectly. Um, so essentially, it is a really long tank top, so it's going to give you nice coverage even postpartum. Uh, and in the front, it has a pouch. It's like a stretchy pouch, and the baby goes in it. So you, so you can basically carry your baby without having to do all the crazy wraps and carriers. You all know if you have babies that that stuff can get a little bit nuts, especially when you're in a hurry. Um, so, ugh. I just love this tank top because I can slip Colton right into this little pouch and keep him nice and close to me and warm. That's where he's happiest. And plus, like I said, he has reflux, so I need to keep him upright during the day. And so this just makes it super easy. Then my final favorite, I'm going to actually take you guys over to the nursery to show you because it is Colton's crib bedding. So here we are in Colton's nursery, and I just wanted to share with you guys his custom crib bedding from the company Giggle Six Baby because I'm in love with you guys. So um, this is custom nautical bedding, and I actually did design this. And that's actually one of the really neat things about her Etsy shop uh, is that when you work with her, she actually will send you photos with like different ideas and just really helps your vision come to life. So she sent me pictures showing me like different uh, styles because I couldn't decide whether I wanted the chevron on the top or the stripes on the top. Uh, and she actually sent me mock-ups of different looks for the crib which was amazing. So as you can see, I went with these bumpers um, and these have the gray soft minky fabric on one side and then on the other side you have the navy blue and white stripes. Um, and there are bumpers all the way around. And they just tie on the side of the crib. Um, now obviously I will take these out when Colton sleeps in here. He is currently sleeping in a bassinet in our bedroom because he's still really tiny. Um, when he goes in here, I will be taking these out. These are for decorative purposes only. And then this is the crib skirt that she made. And it's kind of coming up looking black and white, but the stripes are actually navy blue and white. Um, and just above that you can see the gray and white chevron. And this is just a really gorgeous skirt, really well made. I was really impressed. And if you guys were wondering, this really gorgeous patchwork blanket right here is from Max and Grace Baby. Um, I can link them down below as well, but one side is this gorgeous nautical patchwork. You can see there's a ton of different fabrics. Really pretty. And then the other side is again the gray minky. So I will go ahead and link Giggle Six Baby down below if you want to check out her crib bedding. So those are all of my current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. As always, I'm going to be putting all of the links and any coupon codes down below in the description box, so be sure to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what kind of videos you would like to see next, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye, y'all.